What if I told you that converting your Twitch clips to a proper format that looks good on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and Facebook could be super easy and that you could do it in a matter of seconds? Well, it is now. So stay tuned because today I'm gonna to show you how to do so using CrossClip from Streamlabs. Roll that intro. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today I'm gonna to show you the easiest and the quickest way to convert your Twitch clips to a proper format that looks great on other social media platforms. And we're gonna be doing this by using CrossClip from Streamlabs, the sponsor of today's video. Now let's jump over to the PC so I can show you how. All right, so now we're over at the computer and we're on CrossClip's website and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to go ahead and make a clip and get it exported to your favorite social media website. So getting started first, make sure you sign in with your accounts and I just linked my Twitch. It's super, super easy, takes just a few seconds. And then I'm gonna bounce over to my Twitch channel and go to my videos and find a clip. So I'll filter by clips. It does not work with highlights or recent broadcasts. So go ahead and make sure you got a clip ready and then just if you can't find it, go ahead and select a, select a date range. So I've just selected all, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this clip, and we're just gonna paste it in right here and then click Get Clip. And now we can see that we've got the ability to adjust the timeline and a bunch of other stuff. And what we can do is actually select what format we wanna use. Do we want this for portrait for TikTok and YouTube shorts, or do we want this landscape for YouTube? Um, because we can do that as well or we could set it up as square if we wanted it to be used for something like Instagram or Facebook. You can see where there is a lot of customization with this tool and it's all built into the web. So you don't have to open up your video editing program and spend a lot of time trying to get this exported to a different format. It's very simple and I'll show you now because we're gonna go ahead and use the portrait for TikTok and Essentially, I'm just gonna drag this out where I want it. So I want this to start at the very beginning. And I believe I laugh in this clip a lot. And I'm laughing right there. And let's just say we wanna end it there because I believe the rest of it is just me laughing because something very funny happens in that clip. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and we wanna fix the camera. So this is the content that people would see over here on the right side. And we can see that it shows the FPS point of view, which is the content over here. So we could actually move this around. And if we play this back, uh, we can actually see that this is moved as well. So it's off center. So let's go ahead and pull that back to where it's right in the middle. And what we're gonna do now is adjust the camera. So we'll just click on this camera section and move it around. I'm gonna mute this clip, that way I don't have to keep listening to it. And we can see that it's punched in on my face. Well, if I wanted to get rid of this kind of electric kind of look around my border of my webcam, I can actually kind of crop that down and just adjust it like this and it is actually done. Now there are some pro features like removing the watermark and there's actually a cross clip outro that's added to this as well. So if you wanna remove those, it's only 4.99 to buy the pro version and we'll actually show you some of those pro features in just a second because there's actually a few more things you get with it. And um, we're gonna go ahead and leave that for now. So we can also see we can add additional layers and that's actually some really cool stuff as well. Um, we can also change the input borders and stuff like that, but we're not gonna worry about that. So now we've got this done, we've got the clip set up the way we want it. All we need to do is click compile and give it a title. So we're gonna name this the same thing as my Twitch clip, and that is the Zeus is an Insta kill. And we can also select frame rate and quality if you're a pro member and you can actually get that exported instead of 720p, you can get up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. So let's go ahead and compile that. And essentially it's just gonna go ahead and compile it. Now, while it's compiling, there is also something else I wanna mention and that is the mobile app. The mobile app is super cool because it gives you a ton of features. You can essentially have those clips on your cell phone and I'll pull it up for just a second and I'll actually go ahead and overlay some footage in just a second of what it looks like. But essentially you'll have those clips, let me see, wrong camera, on your phone. And you can literally just click share from your phone and share them to those social media platforms. It is very easy. It is easy mode, especially like they're saying right there. It, it's just like that. Go ahead, download it, share directly to 
TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and other social media apps very easily. So now let's go ahead and jump over to the phone and I'll show you guys how that works. All right, so now we're over at the phone and we can see that the clip is up here. We actually have two of them because I tested it beforehand and this is awesome. We can actually go ahead and preview our clip by clicking on it and it'll process the clip and then start playing it. And yeah, so we'll talk about the pro features in just a second because as you can see right now, the cross clip logo is on the screen. And if you wanted to remove that, it's very easy to remove that as well as the outro. When you're ready to share, go ahead and click share clip at the bottom of the screen and go ahead and select the platform you'd like to send it to. I've selected TikTok and then I'm going to click share again and the video is now on TikTok and we can essentially just go through this and go ahead and set it up like we normally would set up a TikTok and then click post. And once we've clicked post, our video is now on TikTok. So now let's go ahead and show you what the pro features are like because they are really neat. So I'm gonna paste in the same clip and just to save time, and we're gonna go ahead and crop this back down. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features of this because I think this is really cool depending on the game you're playing, especially if you're going for like a lot of kills and stuff in a video game. This is a great way to showcase it. So we're gonna take this layer and put it right around here where this kill feed is in Counter-Strike, and we're just gonna extend this all the way out to where the gameplay is. And then all we've got to do now is take this one on this side and we can just drag this out. And we can see now that we have kill feed also showing up. So if we wanted to throw this down here at the bottom or in the middle, we can. And whenever a kill happens, we can actually see that. So we'll give it just a second and wait for a kill to happen. And yeah, so we've also got the kill feed now imported into this clip, which is a cool way of showing people because that typical aspect ratio um, for something like TikTok makes it really hard to get a lot of data on the screen. And the pro features essentially give you the ability to add those, you know, inf add that type of information back that you would normally lose. So that's really, really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and compile this one and we're just gonna call this test. And we actually see that we can now get 60 FPS at 1080p. And that is, you know, pretty much the main features that you're gonna get out of the pro version, which in my opinion, if you're gonna be making content like this quite a bit and have quite a few clips, 4.99 is not a bad price to pay to get this kind of features. You get 1080p, 60 FPS, and then the ability to crop in some more useful information for your TikTok videos or for Instagram, Facebook, or whatever platform you're publishing to. So that is the easiest and the quickest way to convert your Twitch clips to the proper format for other social media platforms. What do you think about CrossClip? Let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to use the link in the description to check it out. I know that I'm definitely gonna be using this moving forward. It is just too easy to use and is a great way to promote your stream on other platforms. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy that like button and get subscribed if you aren't already and turn on notifications for future videos from How To Tech. If you wanna further support HTT, then think about becoming a member like these lovely people that are on screen right now. Members get early access to videos, discounts on merch, members only post, member badges, and custom emails. Modes. If you want to check out my stream, you can find me on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday from 7 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time at twitch.tv forward slash flux2d. Also, check out our community Discord link down below. It's a great place to share your live streams, videos, and clips. Thanks for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.